what we do here on this device is it, when we build it, right, when it's pieces on a table, we go in with our cryptography, which is through our Certicom acquisition, and we inject secure cryptographic keys into the actual processor. What that allows us to do is do validated boot, meaning if someone were to go in and manipulate the Android OS, the device would not turn on. It would not allow that hacker access to your information because the hardware itself knows that the software does not have the integrity. That's a hardware root of trust that goes from the hardware into the software. So really, it's a robust security implementation. On a device like this, no one has been able to root the BlackBerry software as of yet. This is another powerful benefit. The Priv has been out for two years. This Android security implementation has been out for two years. We brought the device to Black Hat, these big white hat conferences where users are supposed to hack and try. No one has accomplished this yet. With Nougat, with further security projects that are coming down the pipe, we're getting the IAP certification for our Android stack and as well more FIPS certification for government usage. Meaning again, the security bar is raised further. And again, that's all under the hood. It's nothing you have to worry about or think about. It's done for you with the BlackBerry brand. So, a lot of really good security stuff. And again, it goes even further. There's tons of different lock screen and other implementations, things that you can do so you have even more control of that security. Right? You have quick fingerprint authentication. So, if you want to go for more security stuff, you can lock it, right? And I can show you here. I'll unlock my phone right in front of you. You have no idea what my password is. There's so much more deeper in the OS that gets you even further. So if I were to launch DTEC, DTEC tells me my device's security state. It's excellent right now. A lot of things that people don't think about, setting a pin, you know, using a lock screen password. But another great feature is that I can go into applications and permissions and see what particular apps are abusing my security and also abusing my battery life an MDM solution, a device management solution, right? That's where you can invoke Android for work and really lock things down. Okay. And that's BlackBerry server, right? Good technology. Getting someone to manage the device, right? And even if it's you, right? You could buy that software or your company buy that software. And now these devices are managed, right? If you're a big organization and you're deploying 500 devices across your organization, right? And you're buying those devices like, here, I need you to use this for work. The problem is, again, medical data, personal client information, CI compliance and all of that gets very hairy. So the IT and the CIO level, you want to be able to lock that down. So then you bring in another software to manage that, but you can lock down and do even more than what you have here just as an individual user. So if you're really in a business type patient, you have patient files like that or clients and such, there's other things you can do, right? Two-factor authentication is a great way. That's something that Google supports natively, right? Yeah. You choose a service you like, you can use a fingerprint and then a pin to access any service. That's how you can lock down maybe an app that has that service and be in it. Okay. No, so that's fair. lots of options, right? Okay. It's really gonna be up to you to see and explore. With Android, there's a big wide world of things you can do. Yeah, that's the reason why I like Wow. Yeah. So, I mean, I get it.